First of all, let me thank the fans here in Northeast Ohio, the Cleveland Cavaliers, owner Dan Gilbert, Coach Blatt, on an incredible season. You guys never gave up. You played with passion. You fought through adver adversity and through injuries. Thank you and congratulations. And now for the Golden State Warriors, Joe Laco, Peter Gober, Coach Kerr, and this team. What a historic season. And now, you've been waiting a long time, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. For the 2015 Larry O'Brien NBA Championship, the Golden State Warriors. Up, I'm going to start with you because when your ownership group took over, the very first time you had a chance to address those so loyal fans back in Oakland, you looked up at the one banner and said, that's lonely up there. What kind of satisfaction do you take in giving those fans back in Oakland this championship? This is our fans. We have the greatest fans in the world. It's been 40 years. I'm so happy for them. And I'm so happy for our ownership group and the players and our coaches. Four years, seven months, and one day. And this last day is the best day. Congratulations. Peter. Hey, Green. As Joe takes go. that trophy. Peter. Between those championships, there were long stretches of futility for this organization. What's gone into this championship? The culture, the culture from top to bottom. The players made it work on the floor, and Rick Wells and Bob Myers, Joe Latham, and the whole team made it work in the organization. They wanted to win, they wanted to play great, and they did just that. They won 40 years through the desert to now. It's a long journey, but they paid it off. Congratulations. Steve Kerr. I'm not going to allow you to duck me, sir. There he is. Steve, in your first year, you have said all season long that this, guy, this group of men was special. What has been the defining characteristics of this group? I think the sacrifice that every guy made from Andre and David, you know, stepping away from the starting lineup to throughout the playoffs, different guys stepping in and playing whatever matchup we needed. We just played, and they were all in it just to win. That's the only thing that mattered. This is an amazing group of guys. Last night you said to us, you didn't have time. This series didn't give you time to reflect on all the people who have helped you get here. Who are you thinking of right now? I'm thinking of Lute Olson. I'm thinking of Phil Jackson, Lenny Wilkins, Greg Popovich. I've been blessed to play for the greatest coaches ever. And I've learned a ton from them. And they've all helped me get here. And I was blessed with an unbelievable group of guys in my first year. I can't believe how lucky I am. Thanks. Well done, Steve. Please welcome back to the podium to present the 2015 Bill Russell Most Valuable Player Award, Adam Silver. Thank you. It could have been a lot of these guys, but there can only be one MVP. And this year's MVP is a player who didn't start in a single game until these finals. This year's Bill Russell MVP, Andre Iguodala. Andre, the commissioner just mentioned it, 758 straight games in your career you started. In what way did your sacrifice of coming off the bench embody the spirit of this entire group? Um, we got a team full of believers. We all go to chapel before every game. We all believe and we all say God has a, a, a way for you, a purpose for you. This is my purpose and I accepted it and I got great teammates. Steph, I want to be just like Steph when I grow up. Just a God-fearing man, great guy. There's a set of young eyes on you right here. Can you describe what it's like to hold that be a champion and have your son standing right here. Man, it's so much. This is my man, my boo-boo London at home. Oh man, this is great. We gonna we gonna we gonna remember this for a long time. 
Congratulations, Andre. Steph Curry. Steph. Steph Curry. Steph, you're Steph you're come on up front with that beautiful little girl. No, bring Riley. You got to bring Riley. Steph, your first year you won 26 games, your second year you win 36. You talked about the changing perception of what it meant to be a warrior. What does it mean now? World champs, this is, uh, this is truly special. This group is uh, a special group from the time we started the season. This is what we envisioned and a lot of hard work goes into it and all the way down to the last minute of this game. Um, this, is, this is what it's all about, to have our families here, our whole team, coaches, staff, everybody be a part of it. We're gonna remember this for a long time. You said signature moments are reserved only for champions. What will you remember most about this journey? Tonight, the whole, the whole process. I mean, we're an anxious wreck before the game, trying to get the game started, because we knew what was at stake tonight. And just the whole battle. Uh, we knew that we weren't gonna quit. But uh, we made plays down the stretch. Uh, unimaginable feeling out there on the floor knowing hey. you know, you're one game away from an NBA championship and we got it done. Describe the moment when you went over and shared post game, that, that moment with your father, Dell. This is special. Uh, let's say I'm in the family business and uh, this is for my whole family because you know he played 16 years in this league and was never able to enjoy this, but he can live through, through myself and the whole team. Because uh, he's as much a part of this as we are. Congratulations, Steph. Clay. Clay Thompson. He's tall enough. I should be able to find him. Nope. Clay Thompson. step by step alongside of Steph as this journey to a championship has occurred. As you reach the mountaintop, what is this like for you? It's hard to put into words, um, you know, to see where we all come as a team. It was, I mean, it was a collective effort throughout the whole year. And man, I'm just so proud of these guys. It's uh, some man, I'll tell my grandkids, and you know, I can't even put it to words, Doris. Draymond Green, a guy who slips to the second round, completes this championship with a triple-double. Can you describe how valuable that young guy was? Uh, his emotion, you know, his heart, he brings it every night. He's not afraid of the moment. He's not afraid of anybody. He's one of the toughest competitors I've ever played with. And, you know, he's so big to this team. And it doesn't even show up in the boss score every night. Just his toughness and grit, it trickles down, trickle down for Draymond. So, man, we couldn't have done this without him and he has one of the brightest futures in the NBA. You too are the son of an NBA player, a guy who is a champion, Michael Thompson. Yeah. Please describe for me what it's like to share this moment with him. Oh, it's special. Oh, it was good, great to give him a hug. I can't wait to see my family. You know, I got one more to catch him, but man, it's a special feeling. And like he told me, not a greater feeling in the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Doris. Congratulations to the 2015 NBA champion, Golden State Warriors. Woo! Mike, back to you. Thank you very much, Doris. It's always an interesting dynamic when you have the trophy presentation on the road. But the Golden State Warriors could care less as this is the start of a long, long celebration.